Hey, Algebra 2, welcome to lesson 108 and lesson 109, okay? Lesson 108 is called the sum and the difference of two cubes. Okay, so what is that? Well, it's another thing that we can learn and memorize or learn and use if you have it written down in the back of your book of how to factor certain things. Like for instance, you guys, look at this one right here. X squared minus 64. Guys, this is a, the difference of two squares, okay? If you can recognize, and maybe this is already stuck in your head, maybe it's not, um, I don't, I haven't seen it, you know, really emphasized well in this book, but you have learned it in the past. The difference of squares that if you have something that's a complete square here a perfect square and something that's like a perfect square here meaning you can take the square root of this it's x take the square root of this it's um, eight right and there's the difference there it's called the difference of squares which means how do you factor that very easily take the square root of that of both of them square root of x square root of x Square root of 64, 8. So x minus 8 and x plus 8. That's how you factor out the difference of squares. So it's the same thing with the difference of cubes. Okay, like let's look at example 1 and I'll show you how these formulas work. Okay, right here. X to the third, Y to the third minus P to the third. Okay, if you can recognize that this is the, you can take a square, you can take the cube root of this one, which is X and Y, right? And you can take the cube root of P to the third, that's P, then you can use the sum or the difference of cubes, okay? And you just decide what equation is more appropriate, what equation is appropriate. This one is the sum of cubes, this one is the difference of cubes, okay? So we're using the difference of cubes. So you literally just follow this formula. And that's what I'm here to do today is to teach you how to follow it, okay? So look, this is A minus B. Well, that's the cube root of all of this, okay? This is the A and this is the B, okay? So the cube root of this one is XY, right? And the cube root of P is, P to the third is P. Okay, so now you have XY minus P because it's, a negative right here when it's a negative right there. Okay, so just follow the formula with the signs correctly. Okay, now this is gonna be my A and B, right? So I'm gonna use this, okay? I'm not gonna try to like take the cube root of this every time, then square it, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use this in my head now. So A squared, that's gonna be X squared, Y squared, right? Plus AB, which is X, Y, P, okay? Then b squared, which is p squared. And that's how you do the difference of cubes. So this is a, right, xy minus p, b, then a squared is x um, squared, y squared, plus a, b is x times y, x, y times p, b squared is p squared. And that's how you factor out the, dif the sum or difference of cubes. Okay, let's look at another one. So if you don't see that these equations are written in the back of your book, go ahead and write them because you're going to use them and you need to make sure you know exactly where to find them. The other thing is, guys, you have to train yourself to recognize them. Okay, because for right now that it's in the lesson, of course, it's easy to know that this is the summer difference of cubes, okay? But it's also, remember, it's easy to recognize. You can take the cube root of all of this. Cube root of eight is two. This is um, m to the third is m. Y to the six is six divided by three is two, okay? X, uh, y to the second. So here we go, what's my a? Two m y squared, right? Plus x. That's my A and B. Now we're using the plus one up here. So watch out because there's a negative right there that you have to keep an eye on. A squared is gonna be, two squared is four, M squared. Y squared times two is four. Minus AB, so that's two M Y squared X. Plus B squared is X squared. Okay? And that's how you do the sum of cubes. Okay. 
Okay, let me make some room on here. Okay, here we go. Let's do example three. This is the sum of the cubes again, right? So A plus B um, is going to be A to the fourth plus B to the fourth, okay? A squared is A to the eighth minus A times B, which is A to the fourth, B to the fourth, plus B squared, which is B to the eighth. Okay? That's all you do. So go ahead and try the practice on that one. It's only one. And then we'll go into lesson 109. Okay, guys, on this practice, they just wanted to make sure that you remember what to do when you're multiplying and um, dividing exponents. Here's your um, practice. So here's the cube root. 4, p to the 6 is 6 divided by 2, is 6 divided by 3, paired on is 2, so it's p squared. a to the 9th, so 9 divided by 3 is a to the 3rd, minus x to the 3rd divided by 3 is x, and y to the 12th divided by 3 is y to the 4th. Okay, so that's what you start out with a minus b, right? Then, perdón, I forgot my parentheses, and I'm always pretty kind of that. Okay, here we go. A squared. So, 4 squared is 2. P squared squared is P to the 4th. A to the 3rd squared is A to the 6th plus A times B is 4P a, P squared, A to the 3rd, X, Y to the 4th, plus B squared, which is X squared um, times Y to the 8th. Okay, X squared, Y to the 8th. There you go, so that is lesson 108. Let's go over to lesson 109. Lesson 109 is pretty simple as well, which is why I put these two together. Okay, so let me write down example one. They say here that we're supposed to expand this. They're just trying to scare you with these fractional exponents. That's literally all that they're doing, okay? When you expand, you just need to remember your exponent rule. When the exponent is out here, then what do you do with the exponents inside? You multiply them, okay? So it's gonna be two to the third, obviously, x to the one half times three, one half times three, y to the one fourth times three. So two to the third is eight, okay? One half times um, three is gonna be three over one, right? So that's gonna be three over two. Y one fourth times three over one is gonna be three fourths and Z to the third. Okay, just remember to distribute that exponent to each one of the, the elements inside the parentheses, okay? Let's look at example two. Okay, x to the one half plus y to the one half squared. Now look, because I see that it says squared, I am automatically going to write my thing like this because squared in this sense means that you are going to have to square this entire thing because you're adding this, okay? That doesn't mean, okay, remember in the last one, and that's the we had bien in the last one. All of those were pegados, which means that you could apply the exponent very easily because they're being multiplied. Two to the third, x one half to the third, etc. But now we're adding, and when we're adding, and you see a square, what do you have to do? You have to square the whole entire thing, which means multiply it two times, okay? Not just apply the, um, the square to the x and apply the square to the y. No, it doesn't work like that, okay? So now we're going to multiply, here we go x to the one half times x to the one half. Remember what you do with your with your exponents when you're multiplying two of them together like that. You add the exponents, okay? So what's gonna happen? It's gonna be x to the one. Okay, so this to this is x to the one. Then this to this is obviously plus x to the one half, y to the one half, right? But then the same, so that's this one to this one. Then the same thing for this one, right? Which means what am I gonna do right here? 2 x to the 1 half y to the 1 half because you're going to have it when you multiply this times this and this times this, okay? And now we're left with just this times this, which is plus 
y to the one, okay? So there's your answer. I hate how they don't have to put it in bold so that you can see it, okay? But look at your answer right there. It's the same as in the book. x plus two, x to the one half, y to the one half plus y. Weird, but true. Okay, and then let's look at example three. X to the one half plus the Y to the negative one half squared. So I'm just gonna write it again. So we can go multiplying the things that we need to multiply and literally it's gonna be like the exact same thing except with just some negatives there. This times this is gonna be X to the one. This times this is gonna be X to the one half and Y to the negative one half. And you're gonna have the same thing here. So I'm gonna put two x to the one half, y to the negative one half, plus this times this is going to be y to the negative negative one, because you're adding the negative one half and then and the negative one half together. Okay, so go ahead and try those practices. I'll come back and show you what the answer should look like. Okay, so on these, here we go. Letter A is m plus two m to the one half, a to the one half plus a. That's straight up out of the, the examples. And then let's see if anybody caught that this needed to be two thirds, okay? It almost tricked me. But look, when we multiply these two together, we get z plus two z to the one half, p to the one third. Sorry, it just says three. And then p to the two thirds because it's one third plus one third is two thirds, not just one, like when we do it with the one half. So there you go, that is your um, lesson 108 and 109. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.